Okay guys, it's time to do our lesson on complex sentences. So let's see what a complex sentence has to offer. Okay, um, it's another kind of double sentence. And when I say double sentence, you should understand that the compound was our first double sentence in that it had two independent clauses. Well, the complex sentence The complex sentence also has two clauses. It has the independent clause, which is a simple sentence, and it also has a dependent clause or a dependent sentence. Dependent clauses begin with dependent words and we had our list of words on the clause video um, that's your birthday song those um, that list of 17 words in the birthday song those are dependent words okay so here's another way to look at those words um, the time um, the group of time words and the group of logical connection words are words that you should have seen in the list that I shared with you um, and a couple with the added detail. Don't worry about the ones that aren't in our list. We will talk about those later in life. Just worry about the ones that you do recognize from the birthday song. Okay, so here is a, an example of a complex sentence. Okay, um, when I obtained a credit card, I began spending money recklessly. There is the dependent word, when. It begins your dependent clause or dependent statement. When I began, obtained a credit card. The rest of the sentence is your simple sentence or independent clause. And that's what holds the, the entire sentence together. So. The complex sentence is made up of a dependent clause that begins the sentence and an independent clause that ends it. So, okay, here's another example. You've got um, although as your dependent word, and this is the dependent statement. Although quarterback Jay Cutler is not happy, that's your dependent statement. And then at the beginning, You've got running back LT is staying with the San Diego Chargers. That's your simple sentence independent clause. And when you have, and it doesn't matter what order, obviously you've got them in different orders. Here we have the dependent statement first and the independent last. And in this example, you've got the independent or simple statement first and your dependent last but both of these equal a complex sentence. Okay, so it's already time to review. Let's see what we have learned so far. How do you make a complex sentence? Well, you have to have a dependent clause, um, and that is a statement that starts with a dependent word. So it's one simple sentence and one, um, one or more dependent clauses. Okay, so it's time to review what we've learned about complex sentences. All right, which part of this sentence begins with a dependent word? That's right, the first part. And identify the dependent word. The dependent word is because. Very good. Because is your dependent word and therefore this part of the sentence is the dependent statement. Speaking of dependent words or clue words, I thought it would be good to come back and revisit um, the song one more time it's just really important that you go ahead and you memorize these words. Not only will it be on 
your quiz that we have for sentences and you will have to list every single one of these um, but it also will help you identify the dependent clauses in sentences so one more time back by popular demand here is the birthday song with your clue words after all though as because before if since then though unless until when whenever where where as wherever while ja 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 okay you've got to love a teacher who will sing to you and and on multiple occasions so anyway memorize the words as said um, and then I also have a couple of other tricks up my sleeve to help you be able to identify dependent clauses. Okay, so trick number one is that the dependent statement or dependent clause is the less important one out of the, out of the two. Okay, so let's look at an example of um, where one clause is less important. In this sentence, because I forgot the time, I missed the final exam. Which one is more important? That's right. Your simple or independent statement, I missed the, the final exam, is the more important statement. And so, which one would be the less important statement? Yeah, the only one that's left because I forgot the time. Um, the reason will never be more important than the result. So this is um, the less important of the two. And here's another trick, although it's not really a trick. Um, you have the dependent clause cannot stand alone as a sentence. Um, it won't make sense by itself. So looking at the same sentence, um, because I forgot the time, it just won't stand alone. You can't, ha that's not a complete thought. You're missing the um, what of the sentence you know, what are you talking about um, that goes with that dependent clause. And that's why it's super important to have an independent clause um, to add to the dependent clause. It will um, never express a complete thought and it will always leave you hanging. Notice that here we have highlighted the independent clause and that can stand alone and it does make sense alone. So if you can isolate the two different parts, you can always tell which one is dependent and which one is independent. Okay, let's do another trial run and find the dependent clause. All right, so where is your clue word? and look for which statement is less important. Which statement can't stand alone as a sentence. Okay, there's your clue word, before. That's in your list of words. And this begins the dependent clause, before I invited Jane over for lunch. Um, let's point out here, clue word, Subject is I, invented is your predicate, okay? You have clue word, subject, predicate, you have a dependent clause. And it wouldn't make sense by itself, okay? Okay, again, let's find the dependent clause, looking for the clue word, the 
statement that is less important and which clause could not stand alone. Okay, well there's your dependent clause. Pinpoint the word. There's your clue word. So with this dependent clause and this independent clause, that equals a complex sentence. Okay, a couple of final notes. And the first note is that if the dependent clause comes first, as we have seen, there is a comma going to come after it. And look at the example. After I went to English class, comma, I had lunch. The comma has to follow the dependent clause. Now, if the dependent clause is last in the sentence or second, then there won't be a comma, okay? Where is your clue word here? There's the dependent, that's lovely. There's the dependent clause. And notice that there is no comma before a dependent clause. Now, comma rules come into play here. You have to know um, when to use the comma and when not to use the comma. So make a note, if the dependent clause comes first, it's comma, dependent clause comes second, no comma. Okay, that's the end of this lesson.